You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, let's talk about the John Gruden situation once again. This thing is not going away. And based on what we're going to be talking about in this video, guys, John Gruden may just be the tip of the iceberg. You have to remember, guys, that John Gruden was not the focus of the NFL investigation. Actually, this has all to do with the Washington football team and workplace harassment. John Gruden at the time wasn't even an, an employee of the NFL or an NFL team dating back to 2011. Now, John Gruden just finished his fourth season with the Raiders as a head coach. He resigned. I believe he was forcibly resigning because he was going to get fired based off the emails that were released to the Las Vegas Raiders. Mark Davis, I believe, was truly going to fire him. And I do believe that the NFL wanted him fired. But however, they didn't really have the power to do that. But now, guys, the focus is going to be turning away from John Gruden now to the other 650,000 emails. Yes, it was that many emails in the investigation of the Washington football team now. And now, guys, the NFLPA to petition NFL to release all emails from Washington football team investigation. And you know what the NFL said, guys? Nope, we're not going to release it. Wow. I believe that the NFL wants to hide some things. I truly do believe that, folks. Maybe they thought by releasing the John Gruden emails, you know, he could be the fall guy for all of this. But like I said before, John Gruden had nothing to do with the Washington football team. Nothing. He wasn't employed by them. He wasn't employed by the NFL. So let's read this, guys. The NFL's Players Association said Tuesday that it plans to request that the NFL release the remainder of the 650,000 emails reviewed as part of the investigation into workplace misconduct with the Washington football team. Kind of funny, guys. 650,000 emails and we only find out about five of them or so. And that has to do with John Gruden and not actually about the Washington football team. Let's keep reading here. This gets more juicy. Leaked emails from that investigation showed that John Gruden used racist, misogynistic and anti-gay language led to the Las Vegas, Las Vegas Raiders coach coach's resignation Monday night. Quote, we have had communications with the league and the NFL PA plans to request that the NFL release the rest of the emails. NFL PA executive director Demora Smith said, uh, told USA Today Sports in a phone interview. NFL PA spokesperson George Atala confirmed to ESPN's Dan Granziano that the union planned to request the emails. An NFL spokesperson told USA Today that it has no plans to release those emails for confidentiality reasons. Now, funny that they mentioned that, but the emails from John Gruden, were they confidential? No, I mean, these were personal emails that he was sending, not only business, but the NFL released those. Funny how the NFL doesn't want to release the rest of these emails. But it gets more juicy, guys. Attorneys representing 40 former employees of the Washington football team also urged the NFL to release the emails. Now, the 40, 40 former employees, th this has to do directly with workplace misconduct. They say this, quote, it is truly outrageous that after the NFL's 10 month long investigation involving hundreds of witnesses and 650,000 documents related to the longtime culture of harassment and abuse at the Washington football team, the only person to be held accountable and lose their job is the coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. Lawyers Lisa Banks and Deborah Katz said in a statement, if the NFL felt it appropriate to release these offensive emails from John Gruden, which it obtained during its investigation into 
the Washington football team, it must also release the findings related to the actual target of that investigation. Our clients and the public at large deserve transparency and accountability. If not, the NFL and Commissioner Roger Goodell must explain why they appear intent on protecting the Washington football team and owner Dan Snyder at all costs. Now, guys, they bring up a very good point here. 650,000 emails and only the John Gruden emails get released. No relationship whatsoever to the Washington football team. And they accuse the NFL here of trying to protect Dan Snyder. Got to remember, Dan Snyder owns the Washington football team, but he is not involved in the day to day operations of this team because of the workplace misconduct. And guys, the NFL refuses to release those emails because I truly do believe out of these 650,000 emails, there has to be a bunch of damning evidence and a lot of other stuff having to do with probably multiple owners, you know, because remember, personal emails was in, were in this. Guys, we always email or text each other, you know, stuff that we probably when I talk about to people that we don't know, we all say things to our best friends that we would never say to other people. Every single one of us actually do that. And I do believe that there is some communication that the NFL wants to hide. They probably are really trying to protect Dan Snyder. But we got the email from John Gruden to one of his friends. That actually happened to work for the Washington football team. And John Gruden was slamming everybody. NFL owners. Uh, Roger Goodell himself. D. Smith. He is the only person. That has fallen on the sword. And he had nothing to do really with this investigation. He was not the target. It says here the NFL completed its investigation into Washington's workplace culture in July. Finding the franchise. $10 million. In addition, Tanya Snyder, who was named the team's co-CEO in June, took over the day-to-day duties of the franchise after her husband, Dan. All senior executives, including the Snyders, were ordered to take part in workplace conduct training. What did the NFL find about the Washington football team? We want to know that. We want to know that. This is much bigger than John Gruden, much, much bigger, guys. 650,000 emails and he's the only one that goes down. Dan Snyder, nothing happens to him. Dan Snyder is the owner of the now Washington football team. But they were the Redskins when all this misplaced misconduct was actually happening. An NFL spokesperson told ESPN's John Kim that the league won't reopen the investigation into the Washington football team based on these recently leaked emails. They considered the Gruden emails beyond the scope of the investigation. The spokesperson said the NFL did not release the emails pertaining to Gruden. So the NFL didn't do it. I find that very, very hard to believe, folks. I really do find that very, very hard to believe. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys think of the NFL PA Wanting the NFL to release all 650,000 emails, the NFL has refused. But some kind of way, they let the Gruden emails get out there, even though they're saying, oh, it wasn't us. Not buying that whatsoever, guys. This is much bigger. There could be other heads that could actually roll. Other owners, you know, uh, could be in the midst for things that they actually said. Other NFL executives, you know. And they even said here, all the senior executives of the Washington football team had to attend some kind of training. Something happened, folks, and they're not telling us. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, the NFL, it could become even darker than what it already is. John Gruden, there's much more to this. There's much, much more to this in the NFL PA and the attorneys representing 40 former employees of the Washington football team, they all want answers. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. 
and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.